Hey guys, what's up? This is Team Little Man here, and I'm going to be bringing you a gameplay on Batman Gotham City Imposters. Now, I know most of the videos I've done before are just like uh, live commentaries or whatever, but I think I'm going to start. I can I can continue doing live commentaries, but I figure I'd also start bringing you guys videos on what guns are pretty good to use, how to use certain classes, what all these uh, abilities are, like the grappling hook and such. It's, there's a lot of customization in this game, and there's a lot of different classes you can make. And it's just a really kind of build-your-own-style kind of game. So however you like to play defensive, you like to rush in, you can kind of tailor your class to your style of play. So what I'm using here is the uh, shotgun. I don't remember its name. I really can't remember the shotgun's name. But I do know that the assault rifle I'm using is called the Dawnbreaker. And it is pretty awesome. It's my useful. Yeah, it's definitely my most used weapon. I have like 600 kills with it or something. Yeah, this game is really addicting. Like, if you, if you get it, don't don't expect to be playing like 10 minutes and getting off. You're probably gonna be stuck stuck to your TV, glued to your TV playing this. But whatever. You know, I'm not complaining. It's a pretty awesome game. I have fun playing it. Now, in all honesty, I kind of feel like the shotguns are a little overpowered, but, you know, you do have to be at close range for them to do any good, but most of these maps are really close range, so I'm hoping they come out with a map pack where the maps are more open, and, you know, there's more than five maps. <laughs> there's only five maps that come with the game, but I'm sure they'll release map packs in the future. But, uh, not only can you customize your class, you can also customize your character. Now, this is pretty cool, but, like, uh... There's different body types, so you can uh, choose a really light body type and be able to run faster, but then again, in, in trade for that, you have less health and your melee does less damage. Whereas you can choose a heavy body type and you can move pretty slow, but have a big stockpile of health and your melee is pretty much an insta-kill every time. And of course, there's a couple more that are like kind of in-betweens, you know, a little bit more health or just completely in the middle, which is probably the one I like the most. I think it's called Tough. And that guy ate a lot of shotgun bullets, jeez. But yeah, I think it's called Tough, and it's pretty much just the middle one, where, you know, you have decent movement speed, decent health, decent melee damage, and it's all pretty good. Anyways, when I play this game, I usually like to have, like, a close-range weapon and a long-range weapon, but, you know, there's no such thing in this game as a, like, a secondary weapon. Every weapon in the game can be a primary or a secondary, and I think that kind of balances it out, so that, you know, in a game like Call of Duty, there's primaries and secondaries, and there's some some things that definitely shouldn't be secondaries, but you know there are. And that kind of unbalances it. But when everything's a primary, you know it's 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 pretty good, I think. Whatever. This game is pretty balanced, I think at least. But there are a couple things in here that it can get frustrating at times, like that uh the dive bomb. It's where you have the uh, glider. And you can fly up in the air and hold down right trigger and just fly down on them. And yeah, it's pretty nuts. Anyways, I'm also using the uh, I'm using the grappling hook, as you've probably seen a million times. I love using that thing. And then I have the thing that's called a care package. And it's that little heart-shaped box. Yeah, that was a song reference. That little heart-shaped box, like right there, I'm using it. Throw it on the ground and it refills you. Uh, you and your teammates ammo and health, but the problem with it is is that it also restores enemies health and ammo, which can be very bad for you and your team. And I get shotgun in the face. I'm not the only one who likes using it. <laughs> but yeah, so you gotta be careful when you throw in that. You can just like, if you get shot, just run back to cover and use it, but uh, you should probably make sure there's no enemies right next to you while you're using it, because it'll just heal them too and they'll probably end up taking you out. There's a lot of uh, choices you can make with your uh, equipment. You know, you don't just have to have care package and stuff. There is a hatchet, which is like the uh, throwing knife in Call of Duty. You know, you throw it, you hit them, it's an instant kill, no matter what, but it is kind of tricky to use. You know, it's not as easy as a... Uh, <laughs> I think someone just threw one of those at me, actually. That's pretty good timing. I can appreciate that very, very much. And there, are, there's something that it resembles kill streaks. It's called rampage, and uh, you can either choose it as like a uh, if you die five times in a row, you get it, which I know death streaks, blah blah blah. Everyone hates them, but they're not really OP, really, in my opinion. But uh, 
can choose things like double damage for 15 seconds. If you cause 1,000 damage in one life, you can use that. Or you can be 75% bullet resistant for 10 seconds or something like that. Anyways, I think this game is winding down. We win. And that gets his face shoved in the dirt. And, yeah. I'm not sure what my score was. I think it was 15-5, and five, but that was a pretty nice game in my opinion. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And if you want to see more, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. We'll be uploading videos daily, and I will see you next time. Later.